FedEx says stormy weather is partly to blame for late holiday packages. On this night after Christmas, their trucks are still making deliveries. Here's Marley Hall. For this customer, FedEx was a day late, and he was more than a dollar short. It's December 26th, and this package just showed up. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Good work, FedEx. Thanks. Others took to social media, where hashtag FedEx fail is trending. One person wrote, so much for the guaranteed two-day delivery. I want my money back. While some came to the carrier's defense, they can't control the weather. And did you wait until the last minute to place your order? Pre-Christmas storms in the south and deadly tornadoes slowed deliveries. Employees who volunteered to work delivered thousands of packages on Christmas Day. And the company opened some pickup centers on Christmas morning for customers to get their packages. But for Aristides Sanabia, it was all too late. He picked up a gift for his father today that was supposed to be delivered by Christmas Eve. I wanted it to get it right on time to deliver it to my, you know, loved ones. So it's a little disappointing. FedEx shipped a record-breaking 317 million packages between Black Friday and Christmas Eve, a 12 percent jump from last year sparked by a surge in online orders. Kevon Hills is with Stella Service, a retail research firm. He says after weather-delayed holiday packages in 2013, FedEx and UPS made improvements to cut down delivery times. Overall, they're getting better. Yeah, and I think it's, it's easy to blame the carriers when, when we see things like weather and bad things happen, especially around the holiday season. But I think overall, the carriers are getting faster. FedEx officials say they're still catching up with Christmas deliveries today, but rival UPS said it was done with its 630 million deliveries by 8 p.m. on Christmas Eve. The UPS Air Hub is in Louisville, where bad weather wasn't an issue. Jim? Marley, thank you very much.